Members will be recognized by order of seniority for their five minutes of questioning. An additional round of questioning may be called after all members have been recognized. I now recognize myself for five minutes of questioning. Um, my colleagues and Americans watching this, the legislative branch of our government passes laws and the executive branch historically works to enforce those laws. In a, in a broad perspective, the, the, the executive branch is required to have is a rule making whereby the laws are interpreted and the means by which the enforcement of those laws shall be established across the country. This is reasonable and understandable. Federal law enforcement, especially when it comes to, to something as clear as enforcement of border and immigration law, is, is much less of a gray area. And the, the solution that has been suggested here, one could argue that from my colleagues across the aisle, You've reached a solution, but it's not a solution within the parameters of enforcement of existing federal law as established by the United States Congress, and we are the legislative branch. So there's been an interesting interpretation of executive authority since January of 2021, whereby our current administration if it doesn't like an existing law, it uses executive authority to find a way around that law. And that's what has happened with the incoming wave upon human wave of illegal migrants attempting to come into our country. The, the, the federal immigration laws that have been established by Congress have been essentially replaced by immigration policy that legalizes illegal entry into our country. And I tell you the numbers of illegal entry are down because this executive branch has redefined what an illegal entry is. The CBP-1 app goes down in, through Mexico and Central America into Colombia. And these these migrant citizens, these children of God, who endeavor to enter our country, but they're undocumented, which makes them illegal. Historically, they would be intercepted at the border and, and handled appropriately. But this administration has changed that. They've diffused our border and essentially extended the American operations for border control down through South America and Central America and Mexico and establish these so-called legal pathways. I see a, a quote, please. There you go. Put the quote up from Mr. Sir, do you recognize these quotes? This is not trick stuff. This is, these are your quotes. Do you acknowledge it? These are your quotes. I can't read that from here, unfortunately, but I... Uh, Let me it say, looks okay, it, like from an NPR interview recently, you say, you know what we have done is really oversee a historic increase in lawful pathways to the United States, including at our ports of entry through the CBP-1 app. Do you acknowledge that you said that? I do. Yeah, thank you. And you went on to say, and what we're really trying to do here is incentivize, incentivize migrants to use safe, lawful, and orderly pathways that, again, we have expanded dramatically over the last two years. Do you acknowledge that that's your quote? Uh, I do, and it's also in my opening remarks. Yes, sir. So what, what we're establishing here is that this executive branch has redefined what an illegal entry is. You, and you, you, you admit that exact policy agenda. So when you report that illegal migrants, that the numbers are down, you, that's, that's a shell game. It's like a magic trick. 
We were advised by Chief Ortiz in what I believe was his last uh, uh, confidential briefing that there were 657,000 immigrants in the pipeline south of the border. It was an interesting number because Chief didn't say six, between 600 and 700,000. He didn't say, you know, 650,000, give or take. He said 657,000. That's quite a precise number. Mr. Hubman, Mr. Nunez Nito, I'll just ask you each to, and I'll yield the balance of my time. Where are those 657,000 people headed? So I. I have not seen that particular estimate. We do know that- It was from the chief. He's now retired and my time has expired. Are they headed north? You know, we, we believe many of them are waiting for the lawful pathways and processes that we have- In order to come north? Not just in Mexico, but in other uh, countries along the- uh, they're, they're, they're headed here. Mr. Hoffman, do you agree they're headed here? A lot of them are headed here, yes, sir. Some of them have stayed in other countries. Like we know, there's many of the Venezuelans have stopped and stayed in Colombia. So there, there's a lot of people in movement, okay. but but the, My, generally this it, direction, yes, sir. And thank you for your answer, gentlemen, for being here. My time has expired. I recognize. Right.